Like many others, this Queenstown fish and chip owner is having sleepless nights. It's been a very, very stressful time because I believe that like 80% of my business for the next month is probably gone. She employs 10 workers and, thanks to the government's wage subsidies, is hopeful she can keep them serving meals for as long as possible. Yeah, it was very important that I can look after my staff. I feel good that I'm working here, so I know that for sure I'm going to have like a backup. Under the scheme, all employers, including those self-employed, who can show a 30% drop in earnings compared to last year, qualify for part of the $5 billion wage subsidy scheme. But while small businesses are happy, read the fine print. It caps at 21 employees and will only pay up to $150,000. Those uh, retail businesses that employ several hundred people throughout the country, uh, there is some concern that that $150,000 maximum threshold may be insufficient to tide them over and certainly won't help cover the costs of the minimum wage increase. We are prepared to look at large businesses on a case-by-case -case basis, but I repeat, big businesses are ones that, generally speaking, have solid balance sheets, uh, are ones that will do well when this uh, crisis is over. While thousands of workers are worried about keeping their jobs, many others are facing cutback hours. During the GFC, saw about 10,000 uh, job losses uh, immediately, uh, with a further four or 5,000 uh, taking place over, over the next year. It took about six years for the sector to recover that. Businesses also want more information about forecasts. 12 weeks, 24 weeks, 36 weeks, what are we looking for so that they can work out their cash flows and what borrowing they need to do. Fonterra, the latest big key Kiwi company to be affected, dropping its dividend because of the uncertainty and Air New Zealand remains in a trading halt as a rescue plan is discussed behind closed doors. Those discussions are ongoing. But as normally bustling streets around the country remain quiet... By getting out and supporting your local business, you, you are keeping jobs going. The message is, shop if you can do it safely or go online. Katie Bradford, One News.